Oh, I ran up here and that was stupid. I was sitting because it's my favorite thing to do. Um, my foot fell asleep. You guys know what that's called? Is it comatose? Yeah. How are we doing, Plano? Woo! I moved here from Indiana. That was an in Sure. Uh, <laughs> it was an interesting decision. Uh, I don't have air conditioning in my car. I didn't plan for that. I have a burn mark on my leg from where a penny became a weapon. Um, it's weird. Like, I went to a diner where you could have a gun but not a vape pen, <laughs> which makes a lot of sense because, like, tobacco, that stuff will kill you. Um, <laughs> I smoke cigarettes and I shouldn't. I, like, I really shouldn't. I tried so hard to get my grandma to stop smoking when I was a kid. And then she showed me this magazine where if you send in so many packs of smoked cigarettes, you get prizes. So my grandma's dead, but I've got a telescope. Uh, yeah, but when I, when I was in Indiana, I uh, went to college twice. I say that because I'm an optimist. I dropped out twice. Because uh, it turns out that your breathalyzer score should not be higher than your GPA. Uh, but I still have all these good ideas. Like, I invented the John Wilkes photo booth, right? Get your perfect headshot. Only... It only costs a penny. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to brag, but I do live in the ghetto now. Um, I uh, got on familywatchdog.com to familiarize myself with my area. <laughs> Meet the neighbors. Uh, there's a guy named Bruce Wayne Canada. And at first, at first, I was like, oh, he changed his name to a list of his favorite things. And I was like, no, because his name would have been Bruce Wayne Child Molest in Canada. <laughs> yeah, I know where I'm not going on Halloween. Uh, yeah, like, I, uh, I live down the road. There's a, there's a bar down the road that shares a building with a taxidermy clinic. It's a gay bar. It's wonderful. Uh, I highly recommend it, because you can get your stuff stuffed while you're getting your stuff stuffed. That's <laughs> great. Um, I got distracted the other day because uh, like, I saw these commercials back to back. The first one was for 50 cents, I could save an African child. Uh, but the one right after it was for 60 cents, I could save a puppy. So I saved $1.10. Uh, I work at a hospital. I'm always looking for different jobs. Um, she, sure. <laughs> uh, hospitals. I, actually, it's weird that that only got one applause. You guys not like healthcare? It's whatever. Uh, it's, I don't do political humor, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, I'm always looking for different jobs. Like, um, I was thinking about becoming a DJ, right? Like, I'd be DJ OCD, because I'll mix it up, but it'll make me uncomfortable. Uh, I decided I'd go with like DJ Lazy Susan, though, right? Because like, I make the tables turn. Um, I thought about becoming a pastry chef, because they seem to make a lot of turnover. Um, my friend did tell me, she was like, well, why don't you just become a Mary Kay representative? That's what I do. And I was like, well, I kind of want to be a pimp. Uh, <laughs> but then I thought about it, guys, and I was like, you know what? I should just go with Mary Kay. I should work really hard and get a pink Cadillac. And then when I'm pimping, I can put my product on my product when I beat my hose. What? <laughs> what? Uh, actually, a real thing is when I uh, first moved down here, I applied to work at a substance abuse clinic. But like, plot twist, they drug test. So. Uh, they did offer me a position as a client. Um, <laughs> more of a them helping me situation. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Um, when I first moved down here as well, I was in a long distance relationship and we would keep tabs on each other through Netflix. Uh, I know it's over because the Netflix password has changed so, so fast he did that. Um, but yeah, it was weird because like, I saw one time that uh, he was watching a lot of TED Talks and the first one was all about the female orgasm and I was like, oh. He's studying. Um, but the next one was all by Ted Bundy. And I was like, oh, is he studying? <laughs> um, yeah, so now I'm single. I'm on Tinder, which is weird. Uh, I used to use Plenty of Fish, but you'll catch something. Um, but yeah, I'm on, I'm on Tinder. And it's just weird just because like, I hate people that send off mixed signals, and I'm guilty of it too. Like, I've been thinking about losing weight just because I'm not attracted to black guys. Um, <laughs> on me at some point I'm not and I'm not racist like my mom is uh, like she won't even listen to mix CDs I make her like she's that kind of racist um, my mom called me the other day I was like mom you sound really distant and she was like yeah Maryland's a long way away from Texas and I was like okay you don't have to yell um, like she wasn't wrong but it was still she doesn't know how things work and she was like Mana 
I had a dream that you died. And I was like, you mean a nightmare? And she just said, no. <laughs> yeah. Super great. Uh, so I blame my uh, drinking on my parents entirely. <laughs> On that note, like, uh, my dad told me when I was a kid he put whiskey on my gums to stop me from crying, right? Which is a habit I've yet to outgrow. Uh, but yeah, so I, I'm on Tinder and it's, it's awful because like if my guy friend goes out on a Tinder date and he got lucky, right? It means he got laid. But if my girlfriend goes out on a Tinder date and she got lucky, it means she made it home okay. Because meeting strangers is terrifying. <laughs> like, uh, have you guys seen Craigslist Misconnections? Yeah, they're my favorite things in the world because they're just rapes that didn't happen. I read them and I'm like, oh my God, girl at gas station got away. That's fantastic. Um, my favorite misconnection I've ever seen is you did me doggy style on your stilts. Uh, yeah, it's spelled D-A-U-G-Y. Uh, and I'm not like a grammar Nazi, but I do think people should care more if they don't cross their T's or like dot their I's or if I miss my period. Um, <laughs> But I just don't know how it's a misconnection, right? Like they made a connection on a whole other level because stilts, <sighs> I, it's a higher love joke. Um, you guys like Steve Winwood? That's how I'll win you back to me. Uh, this is great. <laughs> um, I don't know, like I have misconnections all the time. Like I miss them on purpose. Like I could go out and I could put on the internet on Craigslist, uh, trashy George Clooney. You bought me a drink at the karaoke bar and said, hey, the roofie's free which doesn't work as a pickup line, like unless you're actually putting a roofie in the drink and pick her off of the floor, I guess. Like, I don't know, like I've never been roofied. Like I'm too easy. Um, like that's a fun realization. I'm like, why not me? I was like, oh, cause the tequila gets us there every time. It's keep your pills. Um, I've avoided all my DUIs by just going home with strangers. Uh, I know I have a drinking problem cause like when you take the cap of mouthwash like a shot, like out of habit, and then you keep drinking it because it's cheaper. Um, that's weird. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is a fun story. Um, so I, I went out on a date with this guy who worked with the mentally handicapped. And at the end of the date, he told me I was too much to handle. Um, <laughs> it was something about not wanting to take his work home with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also, the one thing that I did learn for sure is like I would never date a weatherman again because they always lie about how many inches you're gonna get and they never know when it's coming. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I like older guys a lot just because like the last guy that I dated that was my age left my bed, left my apartment, left my door unlocked because he remembered his mom was making cinnamon rolls in the morning. <laughs> so now I try to only date guys who's like moms are dead, you know, like I just don't. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Because then if he's like, no, my mom was making breakfast, I was like, go get your zombie breakfast on. I get it. I get it. That's where, really, that's where I lose you, zombie breakfast? Because you're totally right. That's the right place to get lost. Uh, let's get back on track. So I, go, I get blackout drunk sometimes, and I tweet at Gordon Ramsay. Uh, like, that's a thing. That's a thing I do with uh, scary regularity. Uh, like, it's always like, at Gordon Ramsay, you can't spell menu without me and you. Right, right, it's cute stuff. Like at Gordon Ramsay, you should name your penis the egg beater. Um, yeah, like I love those cooking shows. Like I should have known my last relationship wasn't gonna last because like he left the TV on and I stopped paying attention to this because Chopped was on and it was a rerun. Like I'd seen it before and he got mad and I was like, but babe, they're doing so much more in 20 minutes than you are. And it's bad too, cause like I eat like a person that's trapped in an airport. Like, like I, it's just candy and beer, like, and I'm just waiting on things that aren't coming. Like it's, it's all, that's the whole thing. Like I went out the other day and I bought 20 bucks of candy at the gas station uh, because I just wanted to be ready for when the storm was coming, like a doomsday prepper, like when the sadness rolled in, I wanted Twizzlers on board in the house. Cause I believe in being prepared. Uh, I've been trying, I don't know, men loves women with curves though, right? Like that's a thing, right? Uh, yeah, that's why I've always been so jealous of girls with scoliosis. Um, thank you for laughing, I don't have it. Like I'm ahead of the curve. Um, I am trying to not drink so much anymore cause like I wanna get clean of STDs. Um, like, they, I don't have one probably, it's fine. It's like, it's like when you think you have a bill in the mail so you just don't check the mail. 
because like I'm not gonna do anything different right till someone comes by to shut the power off. Um, it's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> Oh, except for the, the fact that I don't have air conditioning in my car. That's a problem. I bought my car off Craigslist, actually, from a pastor in Pennsylvania. Um, his name's Harvey because he's two-faced. The car, not the pastor. Like, I actually, I, went to, I was raised a Catholic. Like, I went to Catholic school for nine years. Um, feel bad for me. Uh, but it's just weird because, like, because they started us drinking at eight, but we never got the sex talk. Like... The first time I heard about sex was in Vegas at a drag show. I was like, Mom, is that Tina Turner? And she's like, it's a man. And I've been figuring life out ever since. <laughs> uh, I do, I live, with, uh, I live with some wonderful, wonderful gay roommates. And uh, my friend, he got drunk and he told me uh, that when he was in high school, like he wasn't out and uh, he was dating this girl. And she's like, why won't you fuck me? Are you gay? And he was like, no. And so he went to, he said he was going to the bathroom. He went to the kitchen and he got a sausage. Uh, an Eckridge sausage, if you're branding. Um, and he taped it here, and then he fucked her with a sausage. And she enjoyed the sausage fucking so much. Because uh, he put it back when he was done, because he's polite. Um, but she made him breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and he left. <laughs> Uh, it's always weird too, like, um, like when you don't know you have an enabler till your enabler is gone. <laughs> Cause like, turns out most people aren't just willing to mix vodka and Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> See, your face was you weren't willing. Where is your sense of adventure? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm so glad, like I, uh, I don't have kids, I have, I have like a cat and that's enough. Like I just turned 23, which is a miracle because I drop, like I have chronic optimism is what I like to call it. Like I dropped my hair dryer in the toilet and used it right away. Cause I'm like, it's probably gonna be fine. It comes off as suicidal. Um, which like I'm not suicidal either, but like those signs on the highway where it's like so many Texas decks. It's the scat part of my comedy show. Uh, it's like so many Texas deaths. I'm like, I'm not suicidal, but like I'm super OCD. Like let's just round it to an even number. <laughs> like I'll take the hit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Things are great for me. I just told you I have a cat. Um, but like I'm so glad I'm not a mom just cause like uh, he was bothering me and I just took a bottle of aspirin and I shook it at him like a rattle and was like, go which is not the best parenting skill in the world. <laughs> which is like, oh no, here's some pills, make sound, you'll have fun, go. Um, it was weird too, cause like I got out of the shower the other day and he licked my nipple, <laughs> which most of you might not know, I hope you don't. In those like three seconds right afterwards, it defines you as a person. Cause you need to not like it. You need to not like it. Like, thank God. Thank God my reaction wasn't like, oh, well, I guess I'm into this now. Like, I've got to start putting that in my budget. Um, <laughs> and it felt bad, too, because I was like, I got something for free that people spend so much money trying to get. Is that sandpaper nipple licking? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what people are into. I, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> But like my friend told me uh, that she was pregnant and like it blew my mind because it was on purpose. Like, because I'm not, I'm not an adult by any means. I just have adult things like, like an iPhone and a vagina. Like I don't, I, I'm just bumbling through this world. Uh, but like, because like my last iPhone search on the map is for bagel. Any bagel. Like if a guy had a bagel in his house and MapQuest was like, go bagel. <sighs> so yeah, uh, so my cat uh, and my friend is pregnant and that's where we're at. Um, she told me she was gonna have this baby naturally. And I was like, oh, gross. Um, Cause like I'm really old fashioned, you know, like I uh, want the baby to come out the way it went in with me high on drugs. Uh, I did think about it the other day, though, because, um, like, it's bad, too, because, like, I, I love these guys. Like, I get, I like the older guys. They always have commitment issues. Like, they're already married. Um, <laughs> I've had to rename my vagina debt just because it slowly tears marriages apart. <laughs> have any, and it got me thinking, too, like, if I had a penis, I would name it ice cream because, like, everybody screams for ice cream and bitches eat it, even if it goes right to their thighs and it comes, to all, it comes in all flavors. Uh, yeah. 
but but I did hear this name the other day that was absolutely beautiful, and I was like, you know what? If I have a daughter, that's it. Uh, it's Spanish origin. Some of you might have heard of it. It's I always say it wrong. Housekeeping. <laughs> it's it's so housekeeping. It's so beautiful. Uh, I was gonna name my daughter Velveeta, but I got told it was too cheesy. <laughs> Uh, that was a long racist way to go for a cheese pun, and I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Uh, I've been Mana, you guys have been great. Let's get your host back up here.